You stay there. Ooh, what a shot. Right, let's quickly get this guy. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, you shot me. See ya. Yeah, that got him. I see you. Right, let's go for you. Oh, there's two of you. Right, watch it. Well, check out that combo. Ow. Welcome to another video. My name's Sam, and today we are checking out Grimlord. Now, this isn't my first time jumping into this. I actually jumped into this yesterday to record. And being a content creator, I had issues, so I can't use that. So I've got to do it all again. But basically, Grimlord is a Souls-like game. It's pretty much Dark Souls, but in VR. It is uh, a lot of fun. It is challenging. So if you're into that sort of thing and you want something like that in VR, then definitely check out Grimlord by Metal Cat. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's jump in. This is going to be mostly uh, just gameplay of me going through when the uh, sort of like starting area I've turned the tutorial bit off for now because I literally just did all of this yesterday so I'm going to be going through doing this pretty quickly so I can get and show you some more of the the juicy bits all right let's grab you and this sword there right cool thing is you can actually grab things pretty much anywhere as well Right. First bit of combat. Come on. There we go. Off with your head. Right. Who's next? Ooh. Shield. I forgot about that. Come here. There we go. Yes. I've got a shield. Come on. I don't think so. Not today. Just in case. Oh, you dead yet? How about now? Now you're dead. There we go. <laughs> so as you go through and you kill these guys, they sometimes drop things. They also give you what's called matter. And matter is used, which I'll show later on when I get to the area, the, the castle, the keep. I've gone what it's actually called. Oh, you left yourself open there. Matter is used in basically... I love when they just lie there on the floor and let me hit them. Matter is used to basically level up your character and unlock different skills and perks and stuff. The skill tree is huge, which I will show when I get to that stage. But the visuals in this, I have everything uh, maxed out at the moment, but the visuals are extremely impressive. I'm running this uh, via my Quest 2 but using the link cable because at the moment with firmware version 54 I believe there's an issue with using um, virtual desktop and air link it's all very jittery so hopefully that gets fixed in version 55 which should be coming out or rolling out shortly so as you just saw there, I picked up some scraps of leather and stuff like that that is used for crafting so there is crafting in this game as well we can craft different types of weapons and shields <laughs> Poink. Poink. I <laughs> uh, don't know what poink is. Poink is a combination of yoink and poke, I guess. There we go, I've got some 12 matter. Poink. <laughs> so these are basically health potions. You can put them in here and you can cycle through, as you can see at the bottom here. I can cycle through. Obviously, they're all the same, so you're not going to see it cycle. But you uh, have put your hand here and you press trigger and it will cycle through the items that you have. But yeah, so this game comes out tomorrow, the 22nd of June, uh, on PC, on Steam, entering into early access. But not only that, I believe there will be a demo releasing for running natively on the Quest 2 via App Lab. Uh, I will put, obviously, all details down in the description below for you. Now, it wouldn't be a Souls game without a boss fight now, would it? And, uh, you know, big metal door. What do you expect to see? There he is! Hello! Hello, boss man. It's me again. I know I was here yesterday, but, you know, recording issues and everything, so... 
yeah. Let, let's dance, shall we? So, this guy takes a lot of hits. Now, there is sort of like a, a dodge jumping button. Well, check out that combo. Ow. But as far as I'm aware, there's only health and mana, which you can see on my arm here, that you need to worry about. So there's no stamina. But if uh, an opponent hits your weapon or your shield like constantly, you will lose that. Not lose that as in it will be destroyed, but you like let go of it by mistake. You're like, oh shit, and your weapon will go flying off and you will go run and pick it up again. Right. Give me <laughs> my sword got caught in his arm. Yeah, he got his mask off. Right. Yeah, poke him a few times in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you do your swings. You done? Cool. Point, point. I'm not saying point again. Uh, can I get some points down in the comments below, just for shits and giggles? Hang on, I'm thirsty. There you go. Okay. Round two. Ow. Nearly there. Give him a sword. Ah, have at it. Ah, there we go. Lots of matter there. And he dropped this bad boy. Which is, uh, I believe, also used for crafting. Okay, Guardian's Axe Head unlocked. Whew. So that is pretty much the, uh, basically the tutorial section. When you, when you start to ask if you want the tutorials to, to show, I had them off for that section because I've done it before, basically. But it, it basically there are these glowing sections that teach you how to do stuff, sort of, <laughs> and get you up to this point. Introduce you to the game mechanics, has you a little boss fight, and then up to the monastery. And yes, we are naked. There is no crouch button. So if you do want to crouch, you have to physically crouch. There is a uh, seated mode, so you can uh, play seated. You can adjust the height as well, or have it set to auto. That's all there, as well as uh, snap turn, comfort vignette. Uh, you can change uh, movement. So I have it so it always goes in the way that I'm facing. You can have snap turning as well. I believe you can have it so that your combat hand is your left hand, so for all you lefties out there, you don't have to worry about that, so I believe this would therefore be on this arm. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm a righty, so yeah. So here, we have another Boy. checkpoint, basically. Boom. There we go. And that will be our t point of interest for when we want to go to other levels. So we've got a bow and arrow here and some quivers. So let me shut that over my right. Take this. Now, I do love a good bar an arrow in a VR game. You have no idea what's waiting for you. I know. See, I did actually say in the video that I recorded yesterday that because these guys didn't actually have voiceovers. And that was me going, Metal Cat, if, uh, if you want some voiceovers done, I am available. I'd love uh, to be in a VR game in some form, be that voiceover or, I don't know, just anything. But uh, seeing as they've added voiceovers now to these characters, ah, can't do that now. So in here we have basically storage room. Oh, they've added this as well, so it actually teaches you how to use this. But basically, stuff goes in, appears on scroll. You can then pull it back out. Oh no, that's my flask. So basically, this is your stash, so that can go in there. Right now, this is me, naked. That's the day I was born, apart from underwear. I was here when I was born. I didn't come out wearing underwear. But one thing that I did notice yesterday, and it's still apparently a thing, is if you twist your arms, <laughs> look where they rotate. That is not where my arms rotate. Well, I mean, they, they do, but obviously more of the arm part up here rotates as well. That doesn't just stay there. So uh, I hope that gets a addressed, because obviously it's still in your 
you know, field of view, you can still see that, so it's not like hidden or anything. I'm gonna grab this armor, and you grab it and equip it with, oh, it's not gonna let me yet, is it? Oh no, there we go. So you just grab it with both hands around the, the, the nipples, basically. I am, I got a cape and everything. So this is the blacksmith. Oh, they've moved that round, that's nice, that's cool. So this you, guy, you. I don't recognize you. I'm um, new. Why is a nobody like you here? So basically this allows you to craft. So basically that axe there, I need a short handle and an iron axe or guardian's axe head. So you have you know, one of these. So this I just need the light garad. Is that pronounced garad? I don't know. The uh, grip and the sword itself to make that sword. So this is where, where your crafting comes in, then whatever you want it want to craft, if you've got it, so I don't have enough iron. Or do I? I got eight out of five. I got Yeah. I'm not sure why that's red. It should be the leather that's red, because I don't have six. But then you hit the bell, basically, and he'll make it for you. I offer you a way out of here. Oh. A certain degree of freedom. Care for me to elaborate? Now, I found this amazing. They've actually implemented, so to agree to something or refuse, you have to nod or shake your head. There is something in common between the two of us. Why don't and more VR games do that? That is fantastic implementation. Without a cause. Let it impel you to sense more, feel more, yearn for more. There you go. Look at that bad boy. Now, that is a big skills tree. So, basically, we have uh, zero points available, but we have 575 matter. So, I can spend my matter to get talent points. And obviously, we start in the center and we, we branch out. So, vitality. Increase one point of vitality, so that's basically our health. So, yes, I want that. The other one I went to the other day was uh, physical damage, but we've got physical damage, we've got mana regeneration. Over on this side, we've got mana points, mana points, magic damage, HP regeneration, health points, health points. But then over here, physical damage, physical damage, mana regeneration, and then I'm assuming each of these are more specialized in like magic or physical damage or things like that. So uh, yeah, super cool, quite large and you never know, they might even expand on this in the future because uh, this is still very early days. But that's what I'm gonna go for because I'm gonna stick with my sword and shield. There it is, we are going there. So if I hold this one, hold to rest. So yeah, let's go. So here we are at the castle. Let me get this ready because I know there's a guy around the corner. And I didn't really get too far when I was here because my Quest 2 battery was running low. Even though it's plugged in, it doesn't charge, unfortunately. Oh, headshot. I see you coming over here. God damn it, because of his metal helmet. Bloody chainmail. Stop it. Oh. Okay. Uh, leg. <laughs> he used to be a zombie soldier until he took an arrow to the leg. What? That's his das. Iron unlocked. Okay, so I'm assuming that's like a schematic. Cool. What's my health like? Health is fine. Still full. Oh well. Right, so we want to get in there, but obviously the gate is shut. So to open that up, I'm assuming there are controls up there. You stay there. Oh, what a shot. Oh, of course he's getting back up. Uh, <laughs> you okay, mate? You got an arrow between your eyes. You okay? You get no you want you want some more, okay. How about on the shoulder? 
Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, doesn't that look stunning? So we're going to be working our way up there. But first of all, we need to get in here and then work our way across to the castle. Oh! You got here quick. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You've literally eaten my arrow. Yeah, have that. That looked painful. Was it? Alright, let's quickly get this guy. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Ah, oh, you shot me. See ya. Yeah, that got him. Oh, I th of course I threw it too far. Well, that sucks. Jabbing in the neck. Always does it. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to be able to take his sword then. Oh, he did drop a sword. Oh, is that my sword? <laughs> it's my sword. I dropped my own sword. Oh, I see you. Sneaky. Bad zombie. There we go. Right. Where was I? Right, I need to open this. There it is. The gate is open. Now the climbing is a bit floaty. I would have well, I would have liked that to have been a bit more responsive. So hopefully they do change that. Because look, I'm moving my arm actually pretty quickly, but it's basically like smooth turning. There we go. But with climbing. So that's that's health and then that's a I'm gonna chuck them down there. Okay, I did not mean to chuck it all the way over there into the alley. Right, okay. Fair enough. I see you. Right, let's go for you. Oh there's two of you. Right, watch it. Ow! I hit my light. <laughs> <laughs> I need to move back slightly, maybe. Ow! I swear I blocked that. Ooh! Blocked and killed. Just smack them whilst they're down. Easiest way of doing it. Casual day shopping. You're going to get up, aren't you? I know it. You're going to get up. You, you come here whilst I'm protected from the arrows. Bloody archers. Oh, I can climb up there as well. Oh, they can't see me now. Okay. You're going to get up. You are, aren't you? Told you. I knew it. Where's the next checkpoint? Come on, die! No one behind me. Good. Oh, right in the mouth. Don't get up. Okay, good. Oh, there you go. Have that. That looked painful. Oh, is it out? Oh. Now, actually, that other one... There it is! That's the one I threw earlier from up there. Oh, there you go. Things all work out for the best. Oh, hello. Let's go through here, because I'm assuming I can go round on the wall. But I still need to deal with you up there. Oh, hello. I see you. Ow! Whoa! Uh, not cool. Now I know why there were uh, bombs. They were for you, weren't they? To 
three. One, two, three. Bad zombie guy with big axe. Oh. No. Don't. Stop it. Oh, they're going to shoot me again. Oh, well, I knew it. Whoa. Calm down. Gotcha. My God. Oh, you look friendly. You're not friendly. You're not friendly at all. But you look human. Ow! You know, I'm not friendly. <laughs> Run away! Yeah. You fall on the floor. I'm going to take the easy way out. And smack you on the ass. There we go. Take full advantage in this game. If they fall down, just smack them. But I swear some of those uh, blows I was parrying. Got an emerald unlock. Right, let's open up this gate and progress a little bit further. Like I said, it's a super hot day and I'm recording VR content. I am a hot, sweaty mess. Hello. So, just because of that alone, you guys should leave a like on this video. And while you're at it, poke up the uh, jack scene. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. But yeah, because I'm sacrificing my uh, myself and turn into a puddle on this super hot day with my PC pumping out tremendous amounts of heat as well. All because I love you guys and producing VR content. But yeah, just, just because of that, hit that subscribe button. I think I deserve it. Hopefully these guys don't see me. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, you're a mage guy. Well, shit. Your armor is super cool though. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Ah. Loading from checkpoint, which is uh, pretty much where I started because I didn't come back and save it. But please be open. Please, okay, the gate is still open. Whew, oh, thank God for that. Right, guys, I'm going to end it there. This has been a look at Grimlord. It comes out tomorrow, but obviously by the time this video comes out, uh, this game is out now. Basically, early access on Steam. I'll put details down in the description with links and everything, including to the Quest 2 native demo. So check out all of that. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this video, what you think of this game as well. If you are a fan of the Dark Souls games and the Souls genre in, in general, then uh, you're going to love this. I'm a hot sweaty mess now, so definitely hit that like button, that subscribe button and that comment button so that you don't miss out on future content. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on.